Hey guys, what's up? Rayo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get into fractals in the year 2017 and also what I believe is the best method in order to build yourself up to do high-end fractals. Before I get started, I do want to mention that in the video description that there are timestamps linking you to the different sections of the video. So if you want to skip ahead, there are a lot of things here that, we, that I'm going to go over. Feel free to do so now. So I'm just going to get right into it. The only thing that you are required to have is a level 80 character. This is going to bring me into my recommendations though. It's This is almost a requirement, but you need to have gear to match your build and you need to use a build that is beneficial to you and your party. Now, this is not so true in the beginning of fractals because the beginning of fractals are just very, they're very lenient. But when you get to the higher end of fractals, it is a requirement to pull your own weight and you need to be able to support your party at the same time. That is just a fact and that is going to be better for everyone in, the, in your party if you can just put in more effort to do your job better than you think you can so really consider that from the start look up dps rotations builds for your class that are really efficient do do whatever you can to make you the best player and the best party member as possible second thing i recommend is heart of thorns players start training your fractal attunement mastery line this is going to give you bonus rewards every day and an extra daily to do third thing I recommend is keep a level head and take everything slow. Make sure you're understanding the mechanics of each fractal and the mechanics of the agony condition. This is the most important thing in order to, aside from understanding your class, you need to understand the mechanics. Those are the two, they're both just as important as each other. So really just keep calm. You're going to run into rude people. It's not just speed clears it's not meta players it's not people who are anti-meta it's not any specific type of player it's a type of person that you will run into just ignore them brush them off you're learning this is all you you got it just keep doing it you'll only improve if you keep doing it so just keep doing it getting there how do you get there let's show you in la you're going to be in the southern section right here next to fort mariner waypoint you're going to teleport there anywhere near it and you're going to run to this conch shell looking icon on the map that is the portal to the fractals of the mist so i'm already here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run in as i run in you'll notice that i get this pop-up just go ahead and click enter and i'm going to show you what this means when i get inside the fractal all right guys so here i am in the fractal lobby where i entered in through this portal right over here so I'm going to run up here and I'm going to show you this scale setting sequencer. I'll get into all that a little bit later. So the scale setting sequencer is what we saw when we were coming into the fractal. Just to kind of go over what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about personal fractal level, what that affects, the LFG tool, and your dailies. I'm not going to get into agony right now. That's going to be my next topic. So personal fractal level, let's just knock this one out. You're level one. You're starting this. It's your first day. You can only select level one, and the only way to up your personal level is by doing fractals of your level or higher. So in order to get to level two, you need to do level one or any fractal level higher than that. And it doesn't matter which tier as long as it's higher. If you're at fractal level nine, you need to do fractal level nine or higher. Pretty easy concept to understand. What does that affect? Your personal level and the fractal level that you do go into some sort of algorithm that will give you more karma. So the higher level that you do and the higher personal level you are, the more karma you get in short. And also what that affects is obviously what levels you can select. But when you get into, say, you complete level 25, you are level now, now level 26, you can open up the tier 2 tab, which also opens up the ability to LFG in tier 2. So you need to be of level of the tier in order to LFG in that tier. So say you want to start running these dailies because that's why people run daily or run fractals is for the daily rewards. And you're level one. How am I going to do a level five daily on my first day? Easy. Use the LFG tool. So you'll see that people are running dailies or running higher level fractals. You can just click join and run with them. And since you'll be running fractals that are of your level or higher, you're going to be one, knocking out the dailies and then two you're going to be upping your personal level at the same time so you're kind of killing two birds with one stone right there now what do you get from dailies let's go ahead and check the reward from the snowblind daily right here you see you get a fractal initiate chest which will give you a pristine relic agony infusion encryption key and a chance of rare items that resonating sliver something for scribing and it's really not too expensive not really a huge bonus things i want to go over are the relics those are used to buy ascended rings and other stuff within the fractal lobby infusions are used for the agony resistance which i'll get into later the encryption keys are used to open encryption boxes which you will open and that will give you a lot of money from expensive junk 
and the chance of rare items includes ascended rings, armor boxes, weapons, and at higher levels you can get access to tier 7 mats like Deljamar ingots and then uh, except for spirit wood planks for some reason and then you can also get fractal weapon skins and then when you hit tier 3 chest that opens up to gold fractal weapon skins and then ascended accessories there's a lot that you can get from just that rare item that's what you can get from dailies now I said that there's a higher tier now if you look in tier 1 is a snow blind in tier 2 another snow blind tier 3 snow blind tier 4 uh, look at that another snow blind so there's three different fractals fractal tiered dailies in all four tiers just looking at this open up box right here it says daily tier one nightmare two three and four so if i do this tier four nightmare fractal i'm going to get credit for all four tiers so if i do it on tier three i'm going to get credit for tier one two and three if i do it on tier two i'm going to get credit for one and two and one just one the higher level you do it the better the more credit you're going to get for you don't have to do the tier one variant the tier two the tier three and the tier four you can just do the highest tier that you can do and you'll get credit for all of the dailies that are lower than that if that makes sense now there are tiered dailies and then there are also recommended dailies that you can see right over here today it's 19 29 and 66 I see this as tier one, tier two, and tier three. What these recommended dailies are, they don't give you a chance of rare items. They're set rewards every single day, but they do add to your money by giving you fractal encryptions and agony resistance and stuff like that. But these are run for the fractal research pages, which are used to put into a journal that you turn into someone in fractals every so often, which is used for the legendary backpack collection, which I'm not gonna get into. But that's really all there is to that section of this guide. So now I'm going to get into the agony resistance. All right, guys, agony. What is it? Agony is a fractal-specific condition that will nerf your healing by 70%, not to 70%, by 70%. And it'll take away a percentage of your health every second. And that depends on how much AR you have. And AR is short for agony resistance. Now, I mean, how can you tell what agony resistance is required per level and when do i need it so you can see fractal level 1 through 19 there it says zero you don't need it for any fractal before level 20 as soon as you hit level 20 that requirement goes to eight now if you don't have eight you're going to take quite a bit of damage from anything that procs agony in this fractal and you normally don't encounter agony until you get to the boss and sometimes you can avoid the attacks but that means you need to understand the mechanics and you need to know what attacks proc agony so there's a lot that you need to know in order to avoid it so just have the ar it's the best option to just have it so how can i tell if i have enough or how can i tell what kind of damage it's going to have to or do to me so let me just give you an example so i have 150 ar so that is the minimum requirement to do the highest level fractal so let me show you what it'll do with the proper amount of ar it's going to hit me for one percent hp it's still going to nerf my uh healing incoming or my income and healing by 70 percent though so let me take off an item and let me take my agony resistance way down to 123 in a fractal that will do 150 ar or agony worth of damage let's see what that does that is 33 percent of my health right there for one stack this can stack intensity so that's 33 percent per second per stack so if i have two stacks that means i'm taking 66 percent damage per second and it's unavoidable you cannot block it you cannot evade it and you cannot cleanse it this is something that once you're hit by it you're screwed until it goes away so this is why having proper agony resistance is crucial in order to hold your weight in every fractal and be a great boon to your party so get the agony resistance now how do you get agony resistance easy run your fractals you're going to get it from every fractal that you do at the end when you complete it from the boss chest you're going to get it from daily chest and then if you open your encryptions which i highly recommend that you do with the keys that you get from dailies you're going to get plenty and plenty and plenty of agony plus one agony infusions and i'll go over later how to make the most of those and so that's how you can get agony you can also buy it from the trading post if you want to if you're not getting them as quick as you'd like now how do you use it you can't just you can't just double click it and all of a sudden it's a buff that you have you have to embed it into gear so what gear is required for that ascended gear now there are two exceptions to this though and these are kind of starter items that you can do when you there's something called a feedback loop and there's also something called 
a craftsman's backpack. And there's many different variants of this craftsman, craft, craftsman backpack. How do you get the loop? You have to complete Fractal Level 20, and it'll give you this Agony Resistance Research Box, or whatever it's called, and you open it up, it'll give you a plus 3 Agony Resistance and a ring, which is the feedback loop. That is, you can use that, and you get it at level 20 for some reason. I guess that's because that's when Agony starts, but the requirement to do that Fractal is level 8. I think it would be better giving it at level 19 or something, in case you didn't have any Agony. Not a big deal. You should have 8 by that point if you're running your dailies, and... The craftsman's backpack, you have to have level 400 in any crafting discipline. Now, what I would recommend is have that being in a discipline that is beneficial to your class. Like, I'm a revenant. I use heavy armor and melee weapons. And then I use a staff, which is an artificial weapon. And then a majority of what I use, you can be crafting with a weaponsmith. Like a sword, a shield, axe, a hammer, and all that stuff. So, my primary professions, which I've actually did on my thief because a revenant was one of my ladder classes that i made i would want weapon smithing and uh, armor smithing so that way i could up my levels to help me craft more ascended gear that i could slot more ar in and at the same time when i get to level 400 i can make the backpack so i can get some agony resistance right from the get-go and that is an expensive route but it's a center it's it has synergy with what you want to end up with in the end and you can do that if you want to just jump right into it and not worry about that quite yet then you can level chef chef is an easy level 1 to 400 it costs less than 10 gold you can look up a guide it'll tell you everything you need and it'll tell you the cheapest option and all that stuff so really easy and then you have to spend like a couple gold making the backpack from the first tier all the way to the grandmaster tier whatever it is so that's one option so that's how you can get started now the uh, the way that you can get ascended gear quick if you're just running this with exotics at the moment which you probably will be that's how i was run your fractal dailies as i mentioned earlier you can get ascended rings and ascended chests from these things now the chest the chest for armor and weapons are really really low in the first tier chest but it is a possibility so don't don't not do them just because the chance is low i have gotten these chests from tier one chests so and you get rings very, very, very often. And if you don't get rings at all, if you do these four dailies in the tier one sections, which are your three tiered and one recommended, you're going to get these relics, these pristine relics, which I mentioned earlier. Ten of those gives you a ring. So four times five, which would be five days of doing these four dailies, you will have 20 relics, which is enough for both your ring slots. And that is going to give you two slots to use and if you do the chef method to get the backpack you have three ar slots which is plenty 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 to start with that's really the end of all the basic info that fractals really revolve around that is if you have that knowledge going into fractals you are well ahead of the game you are well ahead <laughs> more ahead than i was when i first started i was learning all this and this took me a while to learn so this was a lot of information but this took a while for me to really understand all this from this from scratch. So I really hope this much help you, helped you out. This next section of the video is going to be what I believe is the best way to start yourself from level 1 and to gear yourself in the right way all the way to level 100 from my personal experience. So if this is where you're cutting out of the video, I really hope this helped you guys. and I really hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you in the next video. If, I'll, if you're going to be in this next section, I'll see you in a second. I'm assuming that you saw the first half of this video, so before we really get into how to build your agony, what I want to say is, with all the information that you heard in the beginning of this video, start off with running your daily fractals, for your daily tier 1 fractals. If you, I'm assuming that you're just starting fractals. The reason why is, each if you do all your 4 daily tier 1 fractals, you're going to get 4 pristine relics, and if you look at this merchant, you can get a ring for 10 relics. So what that means is you have two ring slots, so you will need a total of 20 relics to get both of your ring slots filled. That'll take five days of doing your four, four dailies to get 20 pristines to get two of the rings of stats that you want. Now, I recommend getting these two berserker rings and just get one of each because since it says unique, you cannot equip two of the same unless you change the prefix to attuned and leave the other one blank or the suffix to infused and leave the other one blank or just have it attuned or something like that. If they're the same exact name with the same prefix and suffix, you cannot equip two of the same. So, if, for example, crystalline band, you cannot equip two of those. 
you can equip a crystalline band and a crystalline band infused but as soon as you infuse that second crystalline band you cannot equip both of them at the same time the way to get around this as you see my rings that i have currently equipped are two different ones of the same exact stats and they're both attuned and infused so i can benefit from those six slots so just from the get-go get one of each named ring for your stat set i recommend if you're looking to if you're still trying to figure out what build you want get these zerker rings because every class has an efficient or somewhat half decent dps uh role or not role but build whereas not every single class has a good condi or a healing build or a utility build if you're looking for a a starter set get these berserker rings because if you ever decide to change your build for your main then you can toss these rings to an alternate character and it'll have a use it'll always have a use no matter what these are good starter rings now what i'm going to get into is your agony resistance plan what i mean by that is plan for how many ar slots that you're going to have available so if you're a heart of thorns player you can have a maximum of 18 slots like i have um, and if you are a core player, the max you can have is 16 slots. I'm going to give you plans for 18 slots, 17 slots, which are Heart of Thorns, and then 16 slots and 15 slots. The difference in those, those one numbers are your back piece. The back piece is super expensive to infuse. It costs pretty, it co it takes a stack of ectoplasm and some other materials. That's, that's an option that you can omit to give you some insight. You're going to be making up that cost that it takes to infuse your back piece with the infuse the higher level infusions that you're going to need to make up for that lack of slots you're going to need higher infusions in the 17 slot variant than you will in the 18 slot variant uh that might be a little bit confusing but just to kind of get into it i have 18 slots and my agony resistance mix is 12 plus 9 agony infusions and 6 plus 7 I have another character with 17 slots, and I, on that character, have 10 plus 9s, 2 plus 10s, and 5 plus 8s. Now, for core players, your max you can get is 16. So, the what you want to go for, that's your cheapest option. If you have an infused back piece, I'm assuming everyone has infused rings because infused rings are just easy to get as drops when you start running tier 2 fractals and higher. 16 slots, you can get, your cheapest option, I think, is... 10 plus 9s and 6 plus 10s. Now say you don't have an infused back piece and you're just running with that craftsman, craftsman's backpack, which is, is also true for um, Heart of Thorns players. If you're a core and you just have those 15 slots, your cheapest option is 10, or excuse me, 15 plus 10s. The reason why I say that is because just start, cho just choose a plan, figure out how many uh, slots you're going to have when you get into tier 4 or how many slots that you want to fill and then start promoting your like choose the agony resistance that you want to fill those slots and then start promoting the plus one agonies that you get from dailies to those agony infusions so if i start running dailies i'm going to be getting say like if i'm running tier ones let's just say roughly about 50 40 to 50 plus one ars per day after i complete all four dailies open all my chests and all that stuff so that means if i'm going for a an 18 slot variant assuming i'm a heart of thorns player that means i'm going to need 12 plus nines and six plus sevens but at the very start i, I i'm not going to be say I, i'm running in full exotic and i'm running my dailies for the first first five days and i'm trying to get those rings and i have that back piece what i'm going to want to do is start with those plus sevens and then i can just i can work on saving up my infusions to make my six plus seven infusions and then once i get those two rings and i have that back piece after five days i have three slots available and i'll have more than three plus seven agonies that i can toss into my gear and i'll have 21 ar after five days which is more than the re the so minimum or that that's more than the minimum requirement for all of tier one the the minimum requirement to do all of tier one so the highest level in the tier one is 25 that minimum ar requirement is 17 if you have 21 you can do up to like what is it uh, add four you can do up to 27 that's into tier two and if you just do your dailies for five days straight you may not even be of the personal level to do tier um tier two dailies so you'll be ahead of the game at that point what you want to focus on right now is just 
doing your dailies, understanding the mechanics of each of these fractals because there's only 15 different types throughout all 100 fractals and they just repeat and the, it's just focus on getting the mechanics down for each fractal. That's going to be your main focus, I would say, at this point. Once you get the fractal mechanics down, you're going to... Uh, you're going to understand how to do the higher level fractals and once you understand them you're going to have all the infusions that you're going to need and you're going to have this like gear all the gear that you're going to need probably you're going to be building the gear that you're going to need choosing a plan that i've mentioned and promoting your infusions will be good so that way you can start promoting your infusions to the ones to like the amount that you need so when you do get the gear to slot these infusions like say you have a plus nine sitting in your bank and then you finally get that pair of gloves that you needed you slot that plus nine and you have nine more ar right off the bat as soon as you get those gloves so it's really good to just start building those from the start and leveling up your crafting disciplines to help you make your first ascended set of gear if you don't have any ascended gear from the get-go so and you're going to be getting money from these from doing your fractals every single day so just invest that money into your gear right now because you want to just focus on getting full ascended getting 150 ar so that you can get up to tier 4 fractals and run these fractal dailies because these fractal dailies give such good money they really test your your combat uh your knowledge of combat and how to really survive in like hardcore situations and this will help you set this will help set you up for raids and all that stuff this really really opens a door fractals are such a good aspect of the game so that's really all there is to it i know that this was a super long video but this was not a small topic to cover this took me a long time to cover and i really really spent a lot of time doing my best to really condense all this information so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments whether you liked it or disliked it i'm willing to hear whatever you have to say and then if you do want to see any other guides from me please give a suggestion in the comments below i'd love to know what you'd like to like for me to cover if you want me to cover anything and if you want to see any more guides from me please subscribe i'm posting once a week at the moment and i'm about to do a fractal series showing you the mechanics of every single fractal which would kind of make sense on this my one of my next few guides will be something called a fractal level 40 farm which is one of the top gold farms at the moment since they removed the arc basin meta map so stay tuned for that uh that was a suggestion from a couple weeks ago that i'm going to be working on so once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really really hope it helped so uh please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video